I care about transparency in fashion. Why? At first, I wasn't sure. When I graduated in 2009, just after the financial crisis, I was truly frustrated with the state of the world. As a young person, I was trying to connect the dots between starting my career as a fashion designer and earning my living aligned with my values. Well, guess what? It wasn't working, as I'd imagined. I'd chosen a path in an industry that was extremely complex and opaque. Somewhat, this felt very close to home. This feeling triggered in me a memory of feeling powerless when I was growing up in my home country, Venezuela. The feeling that I couldn't change anything, that my voice and my vote didn't have any impact. You know, when you don't feel that you have a impact, you don't feel like you are going to change anything. So I decided that I was going to ignite change and empower myself. I drew inspiration from Gandhi's famous quote, be the change you wish to see in the world. Only that in the 21st century, it's more like be the glitch you wish to see in the matrix. So this was a moment I decided to put on whole designing clothes, step out of my comfort zone, and branch out into new worlds of sustainability, innovation, and technology. This led me to become a solution designer with the mission to accelerate positive impact in the fashion industry. So growing up in the Andes, almost 2,000 meters above sea level, rooted in me a deep respect and love for nature. My dad is an astronomer who taught me how to read the sky. And my mom had a clothing shop where I grew up, inspired by her designs and creativity. I guess I'm the result of these two worlds that made me very curious about creating new perspectives. Since I was three years old, this is the river where I used to swim in and play. I took this picture on last Christmas Day after 10 years of not being able to go back home. And to my surprise, my dad told me not to get into the river because it was polluted. I was extremely upset. If the rivers are polluted, the community will suffer. If we the people have the knowledge to preserve the rivers, the communities will thrive. Today, the planet is in crisis and is in direct consequence of our everyday actions. For example, today we buy almost double the amount of clothing we did 20 years ago. We all, as customers, choose to buy into brands that provide us with products and services. As customers, we technically vote with our wallets every time we choose to buy into a brand. So how are the clothes that we are wearing today are impacting my environment and yours? What I'm going to demonstrate here is how in the near future, digital IDs will be able to tell us more about how, where, and who made our clothes. But it's not enough to have a pretty story. We need verifiable information at the point of sale. Therefore, technologies such as blockchain can help us trust information of brands sharing with, not, with us. But it's not enough just to trust in the technology. We all need to take responsibility so that our everyday actions can have a positive impact and enable trust, traceability, and transparency. Currently, I'm working to make these solutions available for everyone. We need proof of trust. Back in 2014, I was looking for solutions to increase trust and transparency in fashion. So I stumbled across this buzzword called blockchain. So what is blockchain, and what does it have to do with transparency? Blockchains are a digital ledger of transactions that are duplicated and distributed across an entire network of computers. Hmm. How does blockchain work? So I want you to imagine you're writing invitations for your next birthday party to all your friends. And to make your life easier, you add carbon paper. Remember carbon paper? Yes. This action is 
is duplicated thousands of times in this blockchain so that you can provide a copy to everyone who needs the information and as a proof of trust, make sure that this information is in fact true. So as you write an invitation on the blockchain, there's a copy being recorded on a decentralized ledger, meaning a network of computers that can confirm without a central authority the quality of this data or information. A cool feature is also it cannot be changed or tampered with. Along with a timestamp and an encrypted code for higher security. So what does this have to do with transparency in fashion? Well, everything and nothing until the two became one. In 2017, we launched the world's first garment on blockchain, end to end from farm to product. We demonstrated how blockchain technology can help verify sustainability claims in fashion supply chains to increase transparency at the point of sale. This proof of concept allowed us to visualize and test new ways to design new solutions that now, today, are being adopted and implemented globally. So how does this explain why I care about transparency in fashion? I believe it's about being open and honest. Honest about not being perfect, honest about not knowing. So I invite you all, the next time you choose to buy a garment, to ask yourself, first of all, do I need this? And if I buy it, what am I voting for? How are my values being reflected by supporting this brand, this product, this company? What if we change the C of consumer for the C of citizen? So we can all get empowered and demand for the information that we care about. We all have a cause close to our hearts. Whether you care about the ocean, or the forest, or fair trade, whatever it is, start there. Because we can't do everything alone. But together, as active citizens of the world, we can ignite change, we can empower our communities, and we can accelerate positive impact. Let's think global. <laughs> Ask the brands for the information that you care about so that they can become a transparent company. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs>